I'm just gonna um, give my thoughts on Karate Joe and who he was and what he did and what I think about it. So, Karate Joe was Chantal's mod in her channel for a number of years. And what I mean by years is more than three years since she first started her channel back in 2017. Maybe, what was that, 17? Like four, four years. And Karate Joe actually, uh, I when I was modding in Chantal's uh, chat before she did members only, I come across him, I've had conversations with him, very short, because he gave me uh, creepy vibes, but from the Kiwi Farm stocks, I thought he was a black guy with a black face mask that he um, had on, that I thought he had on, but apparently that wasn't him. So a lot of people were just very confused um, as to who Karate Joe was. For me, um, he just creeped me out. So I just kept it very short with him. It, it creeped me out how controlling he was with Chantal, telling her kind of what to do. Um, like somebody in Kiwi Farm said, father daughter, father troubled daughter uh, relationship. It was just very creepy. Um, setting timers for her during her chats. I don't know if she told him to do that or if he just decided to do that. But overall, just very creepy. And I think it's just very important uh, because, you know, you have to know. I'm not going to fault Chantel for it because it's not like there's a vetting process for um, people to become the VIBs or to go on to YouTube, but I, I just think it's important. You really have to get to know someone because like I always say, you don't really know someone until you know someone. And it's there's just so many creepers out here and weirdos and it's, uh, it's just very weird. I, I, for me, I, I think that... Um, he could possibly get in trouble because I know that when it comes to um, sex offenders, they're not allowed to use the internet in any fashion, shape, way, or form, um, especially when it comes to chatting and communicating with other people online. Um, but it just depends on each state because it's different. Um, they say that his offense went back all the way from 20 years ago, I guess 1999. Some people are also saying that his father was also a, I'll just say SO, um, from back in the day, way before then his father, is, this is supposedly his father, I don't know, this is not verified by me, this is what's written on the farms, but they're saying that his father did similar things, so I mean, I just don't understand how a person, if they were, now everybody's different, if they were um, physically assaulted, I should say, as children, uh, not physically, sexually assaulted as children, and they grow up to know the difference between right and wrong, I don't understand how some people say, well, you know, oh, it's okay, like, you know, not it's okay, what the hell am I talking about? Not it's okay, but what I mean is they give them a pass because you know, it happened to them is what I'm trying to say. And I just think that that's not right. I think it's wrong. Um, as a person who has survived that type of thing when I was six, I've had never any desire to do such a thing to any child, let alone a grown adult or anyone. So I don't find that excuse valid. I think once you're old enough to know right from wrong, you know not to do that given to the fact that you know how bad it and, and what it does to your psyche growing up with depression it could even lead to substance abuse and other drug abuse because you really never come to terms with that for me i never seek well i kind of did counseling but i never really did so my teenage years were very rocky i had severe depression insomnia ptsd i i suffered from a lot of stuff um and i just learned to handle it myself and you know just just try to be strong but this isn't even about me but I, th the point i was making is that i don't think that it's any excuse to for someone especially um karate joe was in 1999 i believe he was a senior in high school if i'm not mistaken so he should have known better he definitely knew right from wrong he wasn't a child doing it to another child which, you know, obviously still doesn't make it right, but he knew better. So um, I'm glad that this got brought out in the air. 
I am not a BIB. I do not go into Chantel's chats anymore. Um, so it's just crazy how you just never know who's behind a computer. And that's why I say like whether you're 15, 16, 17, 13, 12, you don't know who these members are. You don't know who's behind the chats. You don't know the past of certain people. And this is just a very telling on why you should be very careful on who you trust. Um, some people were saying, and this is speculation, not verified, allegedly that she sent um, Karate Joe stuff or he sent her stuff. I don't know how it went. But it makes a lot of sense that Mr. Karate Joe um, had no job because he was always in her chat. So he was always uh, in there mid-morning, afternoon, didn't matter what time of day he was there. If you have a job, you there's no way you can be, you can multitask uh, with doing that. So it, it just, it, it kind of adds up um, that he was just, had no job and it makes sense. He, some people were saying the reason why he didn't join her, <laughs> oh, bug, he didn't enjoy, he didn't join her VIB thing is because supposedly like, uh, you know, he didn't believe in credit cards. He didn't believe in, I mean, but there's debit cards too. So it just made no sense, but I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it. You know, you just have to be careful on, on who you trust and, um, everybody thought he was weird anyway, very controlling, always blocking people, um, to the point where Chantel had to go and unblock people. So, but I, I would say don't fault her for it. It's really not her fault. You know, she had no idea. Even though, even if she knew he was from Wisconsin, it's still, you know, nobody's thinking about that at the end of the day. And she trusted him. So, you know, I'm sure this was very eye-opening for her. And don't give her no shit for it. It's, it's really not her fault. But those are my thoughts on it. I don't know. I'll... I'll leave the comment section open to see what you guys think. I wasn't even going to do this. I, um, I'm just sitting back in my backyard and just thinking about the whole situation. And I was like, let me just make a video. But yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, for me, like I said, it was creepy. It's very eye opening. Don't trust anyone. Um, I'm not saying background check everybody. If you have a channel, you know, I know it's impossible, but just take things with a grain of salt because you just never know who's behind the camera and stay safe. Be out there. Be out there. Oh, I can't talk. Stay safe out there. All right. Peace.